It is cooking time. Well, I guess you guys can see my drink. Let me move that out the way. Can you guys hear me very well? Testing one, two, three. OMG, what's up? Cody Gaming, where have you been, dude? Hope the move was good. Hope everything is well. I'm excited for this stream. Howdy, Renee. Hello, OMG. How are you doing this Sunday? Let's take a drink. I know you've been wanting to cook in vid, so here we are. We're going to do all kinds of different types of sushi today. Are y'all able to ever clear? If I hear one word that I'm not cooking, I'm going to kick your ass. Sounds awesome. Perfect. Good. Thank you so much. All right. So, you guys ready to learn how to make different types of sushi? I know a lot of people, it's not their thing, but you know what? You can learn something why not we're gonna make some pretty sushi we're gonna make some stuff for my lunch because obviously i had to make it for my lunch so i'm gonna might as well stream it for you guys all right we're just gonna do a basic sushi first so of course we're gonna start off with some seaweed here big old packet of seaweed let's pop this bad boy open grab a nice slice of nori. Do anybody like sweet seaweed? <laughs> Besides myself. Sushi is not cooking, it's raw. You know what, Everclear? I swear to God. Kick your butt. Alright. It's not raw, but you know what? This one's not raw. Okay, I'm not I'm not providing any non-raw food in my sushi. Because one, it's expensive. Two, I don't want to have to eat it all right away. So here we are basic sushi you'll take your seaweed and as you can see there's a shiny side and a non shiny side shiny shiny side down say that ten times <laughs> all right so we're gonna take our uh, rice that I cooked here we're gonna dress it up a bit though you want to add in a little bit of rice of vinegar okay just a little bit Some sesame seeds, just a little bit. Some people like to put a lot. I'm not a fan, but it is what it is. And then we have salt. And I've got some pink salt here, so just a little bit. And you want to mix that in very well. So this is like if you, act, does anybody even go to like, sushi restaurants or like California rolls or cucumber rolls or any type of roll anybody 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 out there I love me a good old roll okay so this should be mixed well and I also need a glass of water grab a little bit of water here so you're gonna you're probably wondering what this thing is. Do you guys know? You love rolls. <laughs> I've been to sushi restaurants before. Now have you eaten any of though? I'm clear that's the question. Alright, you need a little bit of water. Nice wash hands. Okay, you're gonna grab some sushi here, place it down. Now, actually, sushi is probably one of the easiest things to make, especially if you want to take it for lunch. Uh, so you want to pile it on. Okay, and then you're gonna wet your fingers, and you're just gonna dab it on in. And this is scorching hot because I just made it. Ow! It's freaking hot. You know, I thought I would let it cool down a bit, but apparently I didn't. It's freaking hot. And you don't want your rice to be super thick. Because then your roll will be too thick. And this is actually real sushi rice. It's very short, grainy rice. So we're just gonna do, do a basic roll and then we're gonna get fancy with it. I'm gonna make some pink rice. We're gonna try to make some cool designs in it. So go ahead and rinse off. I 
All right, I'm gonna set that aside because we actually need to cut some ingredients. I didn't do that ahead of time. I did on some stuff, but not all. Of them. So this is gonna be for the pink rice. This is an actual uh, dragon fruit. I don't know if you guys seen this before, but it's gonna make the pink, the rice pink. So we're gonna save that and I'll show you how. Okay. I'm gonna grab our cucumber, our avocado, and some crab. Rinse off your avocados, guys. And what was I gonna say? Oh, our crab sticks. And also, crab sticks already come, like already lined and perfect and ready to go. So no excuses, this stuff is so easy. All right, so I'm gonna just chop off the ends here. And I like to use these cucumbers. I think they're called, uh, what are they called? but they're not as seedy as like a normal cucumber and they're perfect size. So you just want to do some slices. Some very thin slices. Like so. Okay, avocado. This one's still a little bit uh, not right yet. So it's a tiny bit hard. We only need a few pieces. So just peel off the skin. But how's everybody's Sunday today? Relaxing? Are you guys working? Are you done working for the day? OMG. Alright. Let's go ahead and open up our crab here. And how was your stream on uh, Thursday ever clear? Did you guys get enough? A lot done with the ranch sim. And we'll just cut that bad boy in half. And again, imitation crab. I don't even think it's real crab, to be honest. Uh, let's see what's in it. It's like... Alaskan Pollock, so it's got to be like fish, right? Some king crab meat, natural flavoring, so I don't know. No, it's not. It's not Diona. What's up? So also, guys, my uh, shout-outs are not working, so Everclear, my name is family member. Diona, my name is family member. OMG, great friend. So make sure you guys uh, click on each other's links and follow, please. But yes, um, imitation definitely is fish. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, so we're just gonna take a couple pieces of cucumber here. Some avocado. Do you make your own sushi, Diona? Do you like imitation crab and stuff? And that's your basic California roll right there. Basic. And then you always wanna keep an edge here, but I think it's a little too, too on the edge, so we need to make it a little bit bigger. Smaller, actually, there we go. Rinse your fingers. I need like a full on napkin, but I need like a towel, like a shoulder towel. All right, so we're gonna flip this bad boy around, okay? And then you're gonna pick your bamboo mat up and roll it to the piece. And then you lift up your bamboo mat. I hope you guys can see this. And you just keep rolling and pushing. Rolling and pushing. And then you can roll the other way. Okay, and then another secret is if you want your stuff to be super squared, just kind of square it off. Because then there's some pieces that stick out when you're done rolling, which is like this right here. So you just chop the little bad boy off. Then you want to wet your knife a little bit, let it soak down, chop that bad boy in half. Again. Again, and then one more time. So now you've got your perfect California roll. 
right there. Simple and easy, guys. Yes. Who do we got? What's up, Praise? What's up? Praise Bingus. Oh my god. <laughs> Cora. What's up? Jay. Is California nothing as perfect there? Nope, California's not. So for now, we're just gonna place it on this plate over here. And we're gonna learn another one. So there's your basic California roll, guys. Crab, avocado, cucumber, and rice. Right? Perfect. And you know you're gonna be hearing me eating this on stream, so stick around. Alright. There we go. We'll keep that aside. Okay. Next one is going to be an inside out roll. So I'm not going to need this one, but I'm going to need this one, which is covered in saran wrap. Okay. So we'll basic make it another basic. We can make like a just straight cucumber roll. We can do that. Where's my seaweed over here? What's up, Bingus? How are you doing? Miss you. Yes. What do you mean, ew, ASMR? Hell yeah. You're going to be hearing me crunching all over the place. All right. So I'm going to do the shiny side with the rice. Okay. Again, grab a bunch. And again, this is freaking hot. Hot rice. And very sticky, so you want your water bowl on the side here. Press it in all the way to the corners. I love me some sushi. Like, this is so easy to make for me that I could whip this up so fast and just have it for lunch. And this is what I plan on doing. For the week is just having some good old lunch of sushi this whole week. We're gonna be making some spring rolls as well. What's up? Thank you for the hypes. I'm doing well, doing well, Bingus. Appreciate you coming in. All right, so that should be pretty good. You'll hear me washing my hands very often because I hate the I hate touching things. It's nasty. Okay, so we're gonna do straight avocado, I think. So, oh, actually I forgot, it's a, a full. We're gonna flip this bad boy over, okay? So now the rice is gonna be on the outside. So now we're just gonna fill it with cucumber. And that's your basic cucumber roll. If you over order them. That's what I started off with when I went to like sushi restaurants was like cucumber rolls, and then I went to California rolls, and then I went to like salmon, and uh, you know, one of my favorites, like, um, what is it, the white one? What's the white fish? Albacore? That's one of my favorites. All right, again, you just want to squeeze and roll and pick up your bamboo mat. One day, I hope me and Cora are there. Bingus, looks like you were using either English or baby English. Yes, okay, so, but then I thought they were also called something else, like um, like like a Middle Eastern cucumber. I forget the name of them. Uh, I forget the name. It's like on the tip of my tongue. It starts with an A, from what I remember. I don't want to say like artisan because that's like bread, but like, ah, I can't remember. Somebody Google. All right, let's clear this. I don't prefer the rice on the outside, you know, because it's just too sticky for me. But anyways, Bingus, hopefully one day here and I can, can hit up uh, some Japan. Her and I take a long trip. That would be an awesome trip. All right, so that is a inside out roll. And you can actually sprinkle some, uh, make it look pretty. Let's 
sprinkle a little uh, seed on it. There we are, some sesame seeds. You guys can't even see like up close, can you? Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I, I use regular cucumber, but I shred it and marinate. Yeah, like with salt, um, yes. I actually had, I have my carrots uh, marinated that way actually right now. But here you guys go. So the cucumber, right there. So we'll place those down. All right, so, so far, we have regular and we have inside out rolls. Perfect. So now I wanna get into something fancy and what I've been dying to try. Well, let me, let's, let's slow it down. Cause yesterday, if you guys are not following me on my Instagram, I actually made some pink flour rice, uh, floured sushi. <coughs> And I want to do that first, and then we will get into some fancier sushi, which I want to try. I want to make like a square sushi, you know, and stuff like that. So what we need first, and I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this rice right here. Put that in there. And I'm going to take my dragon fruit with vinegar and sugar. Okay, okay. Yes. Now, have you made pink rice? So this is dragon fruit. It's nice and pretty. It's like a magenta. I don't even know if this is doing it to justice, but it might as a nice go. Okay, let me get rid of all my napkins and all of my um, stuff we need here. I'll just throw that. Grab another napkin over here. I always like that stuff. Pretty. All right, so all I need is just about half of this thing. Pop that into a sifter. Okay, put this back in the uh, baggie so I don't stain everything. Okay, so there's options on how to make pink rice. I can only get white ones here. Oh, the, the, the dragon fruit. Yeah, I actually went to an Asian market yesterday, so um, I did find it. There's there's options, though. So if you actually boil purple cabbage, well, red cabbage, if you boil it in some water and you get the purple uh, juice and you squeeze lemon, it actually turns like a magenta color. There's that. There's also beet juice could be used because it's pink. Um, raspberries I heard people use as well. So there's other options to make pink rice. All right, so with a spoon, we're just going to uh, sift that through and get all this juice out. It's beautiful, dark, hot pink. Yeah, the dragon fruit. Yeah, we used to only get white ones too, but in my Asian market, it actually, they had this one. I was like, yes, because I was really looking for beet powder, which people also carry a beet powder, which turns the rice pink. Or again, beet juice, raspberries. There's just all kinds of options. And to be honest, um, it doesn't um, taste any different. Well, first of all, dragon fruit really doesn't have a flavor to me. We're gonna get all that juice that we can down here. This color is freaking beautiful. This is like my, my dream color. So pretty. Okay, let's see. All right, I think that should be good enough. We'll set that over there. Okay, we're just gonna pour that right on top. Are you guys even seeing this? I guess that's a better angle. Let's pour it all on there. Just gonna mix it in. Look at that color, guys. It's so pretty. I don't even know if the camera is doing this justice. I probably don't have my saturation up for you guys to see this. Mm. It is like freaking bright magenta. Alright, let's see. Yeah, can you guys see that? Yeah, I don't know if the stream does the color. Elaine, what's up? My name is Family Sister as well. 
Guys, my shout outs aren't working. I have to change my password again. Get my shout outs going. Oh, how are you? I am making sushi. We just made a couple already. So we made our regular, regular California roll, inside out cucumber roll. We're gonna make a flour roll with uh, pink rice. And uh, now we're gonna get into some fancier sushi. No worry, he's not here for the shout outs. Ah, but I always wanna give you guys shout outs. Uh, so we're gonna make like a, a square sushi that looks like a mosaic. Thank you, babe. And then we're gonna we're also gonna make a couple um, spring rolls. So with the rice paper, if you guys haven't used rice paper spring rolls, these are such easy um, easy ingredient. Like all my ingredients are back there, so it looks like a mess. Um, so easy for lunches, guys. If you go, if you like fresh, quick, and easy lunches, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. All right, so I'm gonna move my Saran wrap, uh, saran wrap one out the way. Bring this one back. And we're gonna grab some more sushi. Some more seaweed here. So I'm gonna take a couple of them. And again, most, most grocery stores, you know, in big cities have like an Asian section that at least carry sushi, rice paper, rice, you got cucumbers, you got crab, you know, and avocado or straight just cucumber like you don't need all this fancy raw stuff you know so for this particular sushi one i'm gonna have to uh fold it in half first let me go a long way and and sushi and i don't know if people like seaweed or not i do i'll eat it by the tons <laughs> If anybody doesn't know me, I will uh, pack like 10 of these a day. Nori, like see, like roasted packet. Another way to eat quick sushi as well. All right, so let me cut this in half. And you can make it so pretty and so quick, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna take half of this and I'm gonna fold it into threes first. We're gonna make flowers, guys. Pink flowers. Cut that up. that up so now I have three pieces right so I would need five to make a petal let's do a couple more fold it over so they're about even cut it and cut it so now I have five and then I don't really need this one right now okay I really haven't tried much sushi I'm not a fan of raw fish but I haven't had ones that don't have raw fish in them yeah, none of this is going to be raw in any way, shape, or form. Um, I prefer getting raw out the restaurant like because I know it's quality. I don't want to buy it from the store <laughs> and then have a problem. So California rolls, of course, is imitation crab. And I have shrimp, like cooked shrimp. So you can make anything. In fact, rolls, you could put whatever you want. I've made rolls with like lettuce, carrots, cucumbers, like straight vegetables, you know. So totally up to you. Okay. So to make the flower one we're going to take a little of this pink rice okay we're just going to dab it into the center here okay and i'm just going to squeeze it down this is going to be a short it's going to only make like a four piece um sushi roll but i'm making um like a teardrop shape i don't know if you guys can see that and you'll see it when i cut into it so for now i need to make five of those And again, they could, they could just, they will look so beautiful, uh, you know, when you uh, can make these for parties and stuff. People will be like, oh, did you actually cater this? No, bitches, I made it myself. All right, there's another one. Again, there's a shiny side and a, and a rougher side. Shiny side down. Rough side, you want the rice. And again, wet your fingers. Play with it. This is the time you get to play with your food. Make it pretty, you guys. So pretty. And again, just making the back part round and the front part.
flat. I love veggie rolls. Yeah, spring rolls. We're gonna make some spring rolls. And I don't know if you guys, if you like shrimp, I add shrimp to mine, but I also um, made like this beef yesterday. So I'm gonna add some beef to it as well. So there's gonna be some that are made of beef. And then of course, you know, watching YouTube, I always find ideas. They have these other like sushi sandwiches. So I've made a couple of those. So I'll show you how to make those as well. And I'm just prepping stuff so I could eat tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> All right, so here we are. One more. And then we get to roll. And again, this is like so simple, guys. If you take the time to just, like, I enjoy, you know, making pretty stuff. Instagram worthy food, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I've got five petals now, okay? So now I'm gonna take this piece of sheet down okay I'm gonna go get some regular rice since I used it all up Where's my other one? I just bought one too yesterday. Here's another one. I love these. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, these are great. I know. I have a nice I have a pretty good kitchen. We actually built this house, so um my stove's over there, my pantry's over there, I got windows everywhere, so I love it. But yeah, all that a mess right there is just all the stuff we're using. So if you guys ever find these, and do you see how there's like bumps on them? This is the best motherfucking thing I've ever bought. When you make eggs and shit, like nothing sticks to it, it flips, it does everything. I have like five of these. I love them. So if you ever find them, use them. Oh, we need to dress our rice. You always want to season your rice, guys. A little bit of rice vinegar. Just a little bit, a little splash splash. Uh, a little bit of sesame seed. I don't like a lot of sesame seed. And then some salt. And you could add sugar as well. I don't. I add sugar to my sauces and stuff, so it's more of a sweet sauce. So make sure it is all nice and combined. That's where you get a good flavor when you're making your, your rice and you're eating sushi. Next time you go try one, even from a grocery store if you get them, you'll taste the difference in rice. All right, so let's pop some on here. Actually, I probably should have only did the half. Half of the sheet. So that's about as big as these are gonna go. So let's mark it down. Cut this piece off. We don't need it. Alright, so here we go. Oh, I definitely need this. If you guys have not tried this, it's called pickled radish. It is very tangy and I love it. So we're gonna put that in the middle for the the pop of color. And I like to add a little green onion. Oh, don't eat it, Merc. All right, let's add some green onion. Okay. So we're gonna take this bad boy, put it in your hand. Okay, we're gonna do Three down at the bottom here. Okay. With the uh, the tips facing up. All right. I'm gonna cut this guy in half. 
lay him in the center. I'll lay in a couple green onion. You don't have to put onion if you don't like it. Just looks like leaves, you know, when you do it. And then again, and again. All right, so we have them laid out. Now you think, oh, that's not gonna fit. Oh, it's gonna fit. So let's squeeze and roll. Okay, squeezed and re-rolled. That bad boy's tight. <laughs> All right. Water your knife up, get off the rice. Here we go. Let's see what happens when I got into it. Let's hope it looks cute. Oh, look at that. Can you guys see that? Look at how pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We know how to make a fit. We know how to tighten that up. Oh, look how cute that is, guys. Can you see that? I love it. It's so cute. so pretty and again I don't know if this camera does it justice but it is like freaking magenta right it's gorgeous it's got the yellow in the center my flowers may be a little off but that's only my second time ever trying it so it's not bad not bad guys and it wasn't that hard okay so let's add that on into our plate over here making it pretty I'm going to have to get another plate, but look at all the sushi we already made so far. And I've only been live for 38 minutes. Okay, anybody hungry? Anybody want one? Yes. All right. <clears throat> let's go ahead and clear off our plate here. Now, I want to attempt, and don't, don't come at me if this doesn't turn out right, but I, this is going to be my first attempt on stream, <laughs> so I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. All right, so I'm gonna need my bamboo roller. Get my rice off of there. I'm gonna grab a full sheet here. Yes, come on through, guys. Thank you. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, I'm gonna take a full sheet. Okay, again. There's a shiny side and a rough side. Shiny side down. We're going to add the rest of this. And I may have to make more. Again, you'll have to use your hands. Grab some water. Very thin layer. So you'll see what I'm going to do, guys. If you stick around... We'll see if this comes out. I might have to make a little bit more pink rice. And again, the dragon fruit doesn't make it taste like anything different at all. Because, like I said, dragon fruit doesn't have much flavor. Let's see if I can push it down with that. Should be able to take this whole thing, chop off the end there. And then if you feel like the little rice doesn't stick, you can just add a piece of glue. That's what they call it, glue. Okay, so now we just covered a whole cucumber. Okay, I'm gonna chop off the ends because I don't need them. We 
waste a lot here. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's up, outer car? How are you? Okay, so for now, I'm going to hold on to that. Actually, yes. Yeah, no, I need to cut it. So, let's cut this. Okay, so I'm going to cut it in half first. Hopefully evenly. I know this is going to look weird. Let's hope it turns out right. Okay. Let's cut it again. And then into fours. And then we're going to set that aside. Okay. Set that aside for now. Now we're going to take our bamboo. Okay. We will take another one of these bad boys. And in fact, we might need two because it's going to get big. <coughs> and I may not even need this. All right. Let's wet this bad boy. Let's let it stick each other okay so now I need some rice here <coughs> oh who tooted on me thank you outer car how are you doing yes I'm cooking I like the color of the knife yes thank you it's like a rainbow I love it okay so let's grab some rice Lord, I hope I do this right. Let's press it in. And then after this roll, if it actually comes out, we're just going to do one more sushi, which is the sushi sandwich. And then we're going to attempt the uh, spring rolls, guys. All the variety we've got. All right, spread it out. Okay, let's hope that works. Okay. So then you want to do it like so. Hopefully that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'll add in some more of this yellow stuff. Grab another one. It's a little wet, so I like to damp it up. So we got that. We'll add the green onion in as well. We're going to add this colorful piece of crab, because why not? We have it. Right. Put that in there. And then we're going to take the other half, flip it so that it's a square. Hopefully I done did that right, guys. Let's gonna, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens, guys, when we cut into it. Okay. Keep it locked in. Ooh, looking like we might do that right. I don't know, maybe. Take some rice and you just kind of glue it on. Glue it. Yes, yeah, spring rolls will be after we do the uh, the sandwich. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> Freya came through correctly and I did it right. I can actually wet that too. Okay, it looks squared, right? <laughs> kind of. We're tempting this one, guys. It's it's very huge. Okay, here we go. Okay, not as cute as I thought. Maybe I shouldn't have done so much rice, but you know what? There it is. 
it'll look it'll do I think I should have done the rice on the other side but either way these are nice it's like colorful in the center pink rice of course pink rice duh why wouldn't I not have pink rice I just showed how to make it too So they came out cute though. Oh, they're gonna pop out. I'll probably shove this one in the mouth because it's an end piece, right? Oh, I don't want to pull out. I don't want to pull that one. That's a long rice. Okay, now I can talk. Yeah, you don't really see it in stores, but you can make it. Make it yourself. All right. That was a big ass piece, man. Haven't opened my mouth that wide in a while. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> okay. Did I say that out loud? Kind of fucked up. That one's a little jacked. Oh, I have a in my mouth too. Who knows? Let's plate these little bad boys. I'll have to rethink my uh, mosaic way of thinking, but you know, they still came out cute. Not bad. They're square. They're delicious. Put those bad boys over here. All right, last one before we start, and I need to clean up because this is a freaking mess. Uh, last one before we start the spring rolls. Okay, so I don't need pink rice anymore. I only need a little rice left for this next one. Again, dress your rice, guys. It, look, I can't wait to dig into that tomorrow. It's all going to be for my lunch, guys. My lunch. Okay, these are all good pieces. We're not going to throw those out. A little sesame and a little salt and my spatula. Okay. All right, let's get that going. So this one I'm gonna do two meats because we're only gonna do one today, and I don't think I need that anymore. All right, so piece of nori. Piece of the seaweed, all right, and then you cut. Make sure it's not wet. Kind of is a little bit. You kind of want to fold it in fours, like gently, just to get the uh, section. Okay, you're gonna take your knife. I don't even know where that went. <laughs> That's not even, is it? No, it's more like over here. Okay, so now we have a flippy floppity, like only halfway, right? Okay, so now you're gonna take a rice on one little square. So you wanna think of this as like a square, like four quads. Okay, not your not your glutes and your quads, but like four quads. Okay, got one, right? I had uh, cooked up a little spam, so I'm going to throw a little bit of spam on this little quad. Then I think I'm going to do some carrots. So I actually dressed my carrots, I shaved them, I put a little bit of salt, 
and they got, you know, very moisty. Okay, so we'll throw a little carrot there. So like I said, because I had made, made some like uh, this really thin beef last night, I'm gonna uh, throw a little on top of the rice. Cause why not, you know? It smells freaking good. It was marinated in uh, some ginger, some garlic, some poison sauce, and uh, green onion. It smells delicious. It's cold. I like my meat cold after I eat it. I'm weird. I know. All right, so now we got a little bit of these. We'll do another one here. In fact, let's do another one. I could fit more. So why not? Dab that off, cut it up. All right, there we go. Okay, ready for this magicness, okay? We're gonna fold it, right? Then fold it again, guys. You see that? Then you fold it again, okay? And then it becomes like a sandwich. Oh, mine was falling apart. That was a fail. Just kidding. You just gotta, you gotta wrap it in really well. And then you could just, or put it in some cellophane and cut that baby boy in half, and you've got two so this is going to be my lunch tomorrow because guess what guys before we get into the spring rolls i have my new bento box that i bought myself off of um uh, off of monbentu.com okay bento boxes are wonderful because you have your own separate compartments okay so look at this you got little compartments for stuff so i'm gonna make my lunch for tomorrow so since we're here, I'm going to wrap this bad boy in some plastic, right? So that it don't fall apart in my travels to the office. No, I did not call you dogs. Ah, uh, Who ate the plastic wrap? Ah, uh, I fucking hate plastic wrap. Anybody else? Don't clip that. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's try and get a nice piece of plastic wrap. Maybe a little longer. Fucking cheap ass plastic wrap, motherfucker. All right. Oh my god, I did it. Okay. Oh, you fucker. No. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it quick. Okay. Wrap it up. Nope, that's not how you do it. Okay. I'm going to fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, okay? And then I'm going to slice this shit in half. Let's see what it looks like, guys. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Look at that, guys. And then we're going to add that to the Bintu box, right there. Fits perfect, fits perfect, guys. And then I can also put this on the side in case I want a little extra something, something. Like I want a couple more of these little radishes on the side. Cause you know what, I'm actually gonna be obsessed with these. I really am. So if I wanna chop these cute thingies up, Place those right in there as a side snackaroo because they're crunchy. Hear that? It's crunch. Mm. Yum. Mm hmm. So, there's a nice sandwich made of sushi, right? In this one, I popped the little lid and I opened it up. I could add a couple of these bad boys. Cute. 
And then I can always bring a little side container of some soy sauce or something. And then I just smash it up in there. Lock it in. Uh, lid first would help. Lock it in. Lock it in. And then you could actually put like a, you know, like a little bit of a fork or something in there. And then it also comes with a little wrap. Let me go get it. box you have this little tie wrap that just stretches over it so it secures it and then it can go into your lunch pail which I will then put in my fridge for later look at that right so cute anyway so I just got from Amazon which I thought would be bigger and I gotta wash it but uh it's a lunch box kind of like the bento box I got but cheaper let's see what it looks like it's an unboxing video now, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. So this is like for salad. So I have to, I'm gonna have to put this in the dishwasher. But look how cute. So your salad can go, to, oh look, it even comes with a fork. Your salad goes in there. And then you can actually do dividers. So if I don't want my salad to get all like soggy full of stuff, put like cabbage and you know, cucumber or whatever. And it has a little thing for your dressing. You just put it in there, put it on top, lock it away, take it for lunch. There we are. So I'm gonna have to wash this bad boy. Ah, oh. That locks pretty good, guys. Oof, shit. Okay. Another unboxing. Right? It's cute. And let me see where it was called. It's called a M. Sure lunchbox. So I'll, I'll pull it up a little. And if I have the link, I could go ahead and uh, screenshot it to you. And then I bought this, guys, which is also a sushi maker. But I've been wanting to attempt this, and I'm not going to do it on stream today because I'm all probably fuck it up. Anyway. I love, I'm telling you guys, I love all these Asian gadgets. They have the best freaking ideas. Okay, how much plastic? What is happening? Good job. Oh my god. Okay. Got it. Alright. So this is a nori sheet that ends up being like a triangle. And then you put it in this bad thing, like a little mold. And then when you fold it into this triangle, oh here's some instruction. Once you fold it into this triangle, you could, you know, put a sticker on it. And then when you're ready to eat it, you just peel it. So then it's already like a sandwich. So not kind of like what I just did, but more in a triangle. So this package actually puts it in that, in the packaging for you to like unfold it. So I'm going to attempt that one day. I'm really excited about that. Okay. Let me clean up a bit. I don't think I need rice for... A spring roll. It's gonna be a bitch to clean up, guys. I have a lot of mess here. I have like so many napkins because I keep washing my hands. Let me clean up for a second. I don't like being a dirty mess. Put my beef away because I will be eating that sure later. Hey, oh, and I got this from Costco, guys. Seaweed salad. Oh. I love me a good seaweed salad. I don't know if you guys ever had this before. Super yummy. Costco. All right. If I could eat Asian food for the rest of my life, I would. All right. We don't need all that right there. Clean the cutting board. Best we can. Knife clean. I don't think I need these. I don't know. Depends what we want in this. Alright, I don't have like a big old plate, but I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna wet this up. Mm. 
I think I just made him get down a plate that I can't use still, so don't tell him. Wait, what's happening? Oh yeah, they're walking around like they're gonna think they're gonna get some. Nah, not happening, no. Not today. Okay, so I got the extra large because of <laughs> why wasn't I? Right? Why wasn't I? Alright. There. There's also a shiny side and a rough side, right? You want to wet this to get it nice and not you don't need to soak it or anything. You just need to get it all wet. Hopefully that's wet enough. We'll let it do its thing, maybe. I personally like to start with some lettai. I'm gonna make it pretty, right? So some lettuce, okay. I'm gonna use, um, you know, you can use vermicelli noodles. I didn't buy noodles. Um, so we're just gonna use some bean sprouts because I have some left over. So why not? You can put whatever you want in a spring roll, anything. I seen one sniff in the counter. Yeah, that'd probably be dirty. The one who can actually reach. And you know, I'll tell you, they have never gotten into the trash, ever. Like, the trash is right here. They can't, they don't get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I'm gonna use the rest of this onion, because why not? Cut it in half, or not. Wait, I need to cut it. It needs to fit. Is anybody like opposed to onions? I love onion. I love me some onion. All right, what else do we want? A carrot. Where did all my carrots go? I'm a mess today. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there we go. I'm also um, sprouting my own bean sprouts right now, guys. Why did I feel like I just had deja vu? I literally feel like I had deja vu. <laughs> Good. I love onions too. But look what I'm doing. So I'm sprouting. This is my first try with my handy dandy. So I'm sprouting my own broccoli sprouts. You know, like alfalfa sprouts. So I got this from Amazon. I'm soaking them. I'll rinse them at 6 p.m., which is in like three hours. And then I just rinse them twice a day for four days. And then I have my own Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts bean sprouts thingies, you know, like the, you know, alfalfa sprouts. And they're very high in protein. I love them on my salad. I love them. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro. Because i got to have cilantro in my spring roll. And I also have a little bit of mint. You don't have to do mint. Mint is quite strong. But a little bit of mint wouldn't hurt. And now I have some shrimp here. Uh, I'm gonna cut it in half. Hopefully there's no shit in them. Cause I don't got time for that. So cut your shrimp in half. 
face it downward. Ew, there is poo. Ew. So what I bought was just the cocktail kind. Ew, there's more shit. The cocktail kind that you buy frozen, like uh, with the cocktail sauce, you know, that you just put out on the table. Because I don't have time to boil my own shrimp. Who's got time for that? Not me. And I guess just so you know, if you buy these, you're probably going to eat some shit. Just saying. Okay. There we go. Got it. Let's hope this thing, oh yeah, it's ready to roll. All right, are we ready? Here we go, it's pretty big. So you just want to roll tight a little bit, then fold in a little bit, fold in a little bit, and then keep rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. As tight as you can. And now you have your spring roll, which my shrimp kind of went everywhere, but it's fine. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And then you could just cut that shit right in half. Look at that thing right there. Yes. Mmm. That looks delicious. Look how fast that was. And we're going to have a little tasty testy. Because why not? I'm going to add some, beef. actually I'm going to add some more beef to one of these. I bought a already pre-made peanut flavor sauce. I don't know if it's any good, but you can make your own. And in fact, I might add a little uh, hot sauce to it, because why not? The only hot sauce I had that was Valentina. I think I got rid of my uh, other stuff. extra hot now. The good stuff, guys. Mm. Mm, it's all like gunky. Whatever. Just a little bit. That's all you need. You don't need much. Not at all. I want to kill my butthole. Mmm. That's not bad. That is not bad. All right, are we ready for a taste test, guys? Okay, let's get that crunch going. Dip it and eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Very earthy from the mint, cilantro, carrots. Oh yeah, that's good. Hmm. Who's gonna make them? You're gonna make them, Elaine? Hmm. This will be a great lunch. I do, though, know that they kind of dry out. So, if I do it for my lunch, I'll probably put like a wet napkin on them. You know what I mean? You get it dry. So easy. I'm gonna make another one. My dogs are staring at me. After I shove it in my mouth, I'll make another one. All right. That was good. Oh, sorry, man. I don't think I even ate anything today. Let's do some of the beef. I'm going to do this mess out of my way. It's so gross. Okay. This is like all over the place. Let's see. Let's move it up a bit. Kind of move over. Can you see me better now? Okay. All, off there. all right. Another one. Like you could buy smaller ones for sure, but the smaller ones, you know, you don't want to fill too much, or you're not gonna be able to roll it. So. over there 
on a plate is just, you know, putting water on it, like, you know, soaking it around. You don't need to, like, soak it, soak it. Just make sure it gets all wet. Nice and wet. I've got... Start with the lettuce again. They tend to use a lot of lettuce on, on the videos I see. Do you have a glass eye? What are you doing? I'm getting on my nerves. Alright. Do a little bit more carrot. The carrot was good. It gave it a good crunch. A nice color. Like I said, they usually add the, the rice noodles, the vermicelli noodles, which I didn't make any. So bean sprouts will work. Just enough. Let's grab some of that meat. That meat is good. Mm -hmm. I'll eat some cold meat. get it whole like you can actually get it round and slice it yourself but I'm too lazy for that mm -hmm. I already got it chopped okay so we got the cilantro and the mint again I think I might add a little cucumber because I have enough fucking cucumber I don't know why I bought so many okay Chop this, I should use another cutting board. Which I do have. Well, I also make my own pickles. So that's why I bought a lot. Okay, so that looks pretty delicious. Eh? Like that's a lot of stuff. So we're gonna wrap it. And this stuff is very sticky, so you can fold it and it won't really tear. It's kind of like those Glad flexibles, <laughs> flexible trash bags. They, you can get some good pressure on that and it's fine. All right, nice and rolled. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that one looks good. Got that beef in there. Yum. I love mint. Like mint is good. Like just a tiny bit. Like I put mint in my in my uh, meatball. It's very good. All right. So I think I know I've only been live for like only an hour. Shit. I feel like I've made so much. Damn. Here I think I was like going on to two. Anyways, so do you guys have questions, or do you want to see another one? Uh, because I'm about to eat, unless you want like an hour worth of month thing, because I will eat. <laughs> I will eat another one. Another one of these spring rolls. Okay, because I don't have any more rice, so we'll make another spring roll. Those, I can, I can chop down on those. That's for sure. your rice papers okay so what should we put in it uh, lettuce of course that's what gives it the crunch factor gotta have the lettuce in there we can add another shrimp maybe I could do it right this time maybe we could do both shrimp and beef carrot Might as well use it all. Waste of a bag. Let's go. Alright, throw that away. A couple more cucumbers. What else? Oh, radish. 
branches are great, guys. I'm telling you. I wouldn't be all harping on them if I didn't think they were really yummy. But again, if you don't like pickled stuff, then maybe it's not for you. But I like pickled stuff. More of these. <laughs> Why do you stare at me, little boy? Want some herbs? Let's try the shrimp. Okay, so let me cut the shrimp on this board over here. So all you want to do is cut it in half, which I butchered that one, so let's not use that one. I forgot to take the damn tail off. Okay. So it'd probably be better if you boiled like large shrimp. You know, okay, that one didn't have poop. Good job. Uh, the larger ones from like the grocery area. Probably get some nice color on it as well. And you only really need to fit three. Let's actually do a couple because these are big, big rice peppers. Okay, so let's see if we can fold this a little better with the shrimp on top. Uh, you can fold like inside first if you wanted to. I don't know. Okay, so I folded it before I got to the shrimp. Then I'm folding it in. Okay, then I'm folding it in again. Then roll it really tight. And there it is. That one actually came out real nice. Uh, pickled stuff is great. Do you get, ooh, I have kimchi. Have you ever tried the kimchi? This is good stuff. Of course, it's fermented vegetables. It's great for probiotics. And I think it's the secret to getting thin. Just kidding. Uh, it's got like Napa cabbage, radish, garlic, hot pepper flakes, ginger, onion, you know, so kimchi is one of my favorite. I didn't use it today, I thought I would, so. Let me pop that thing in the fridge so it could get cool. But that will be also a side piece I'd probably put in my bento box for lunch. All right, let's cut this open. There it is, but that's beautiful with the, with the shrimp on the inside. There it is, guys. I mean, spring rolls are probably the easiest. You just have to uh, either like rubbery shit in your mouth <laughs> or not because they the the rice paper is very sticky and like i said if you um you know leave this in in a bag overnight it might get a little hard so you want to probably put like a wet napkin in it so it stays moisty all that whole sentence was really bad <laughs> oh shit all right this is all we made today except for half of the one that's in my in my bent two box, which I probably will take out again so we could see what we made. So we got some uh, beef, we got shrimp ones, ones I already ate, and then the sandwich we made today. Let's get rid of that. But that was a lot we made, I think. Let's see, turn the camera over here a little. Let's try to move you guys in a bit. You are kind of far. Let's move over. Ugh, trying to make it all nice and pretty. There we go. Oh, centered. Centered. All right. Okay. Let's see. I kind of want to dig into that sandwich for tomorrow, but you know, we'll just leave it as is. Who's ready for food eating time? I am, because I'm hungry. Let's get ready for this. 
just go throw my hair up. Pour me another drink. Let's bring the the blue. So this is my microphone. You guys see it? It's a pink snowball. Let's get you closer, guys, so you can hear it. Are you ready? Can you let me know if you guys can't hear me? Mm-hmm. That's so good. That beef is a bomb. I toot my own horn on that one. Shit. Cause I'm the only one eating this, I'm double dipping. Mmm. This is good. Can you hear it? <laughs> I'll just eat one of these. Mm-hmm. You guys. You can pick this up at your local grocery store, seriously. Most of them have an Asian section that carry rice paper, seaweed, you can get cucumber, cabbage, anything. You can put anything in these and have it for a quick lunch. What's up, Cody? I'm just stuffing my face now. How was the move, dude? We're all moved in. This is what we made today. You missed it. But now I'm just eating on stream, so. Mm hmm. That's good. Well, that's good, though. You're all moved in. Glad it went well, man. Feeling better about everything? Good, good to hear. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll be back streaming soon. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about sushi here. But. I know it was a short stream, but it's just, it's food. Like, how long can you really cook for without really cooking, according to Everclear? Oh, okay. September 10th, 24-hour stream. I will look out for that, my friend. Let's see. Mm -hmm. um, I think we will... Um, Oh, Zeke has the same game I have. Okay, so we're going to head over to Zeke because one is like my partner in crime. What would you say over there? Forever. Starting at 5 a.m. What do you mean forever? Read. All right, so we're gonna head over to Real Big Zeke. I have 12 minutes as well. I'm pretty sure it's a, um, like a, 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 one of those um, rooms where you have to do puzzles and stuff to get out. What are they called? Um, I'm setting up my VR for 24 hour stream, but I have to find it first. Aw, oh, that sucks, Cody. Um, what are those, not secret rooms, what are they called? Where you have to try to get out? Escape room! You're right. Correct. Thank you, Cody. So I think 12 minutes is an escape room game. He's hitting it up hard over there. So I appreciate you guys coming in and learning how to make a couple uh, sushis and, you know, quick, easy lunches and stuff like that. So um, I'll try and think of something else. I'll try and do it like once a month if I can. But I really enjoy these because they're fun. But, um, oh, I could stream non-cooking forever. 
That is true, but I enjoy this, and I enjoy teaching people how to do some stuff. But uh, I'm supposed to be in the office this week, so I may or may not stream this week, but I appreciate y'all coming in. Please stick around for the raid. Give them as much love as you can, and hopefully you guys learned something. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys later. I say good day. Let's head over. Bye, guys. Yeah, let's go talk.